me? Right. What's right. wrong with y'all? Go ahead. Do ye not perceive that whatsoever thing from without entereth into the man, it cannot defile him? Because it entereth not into his heart. What does it not enter into? Into his heart. Go ahead. But into the belt. Uh huh. And, and goeth out into the drop, purging all meat. So he says, look, if you slip up and you eat something you ain't supposed to, it's coming out. One opening or the other. Or both at the same time. It's going to the drop. It's coming out. Let's get it. Verse 20. Uh -huh. And he said, that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. What does it do? Defileth the man. So then we ask again, if that's talking about it's okay to eat pork, what is it that could come out of you after eating that will defile you, or what did it come out of you after defile? I mean, that will call it to be defiled. Go ahead. Verse 21. Uh -huh. For from within, out of the heart of men, Proceed evil thoughts. What kind of thoughts? Evil thoughts. Go ahead. Adultery. Right. Fornication. Right. Murder. Right. Theft. Uh -huh. Covetousness. Wickedness. What? Deceit. Lasciviousness. Uh huh. An evil eye. Right. Blasphemy. Right. Pride. Right. Foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. So if what comes out of you, he just made the old law break. If what comes out of you, it's okay to eat that. The Lord said it was. Deceit. That's deceit. That's deceit. That defiles you because you are giving somebody instruction to eat bad meat. You, that's going to defile you for doing that. Because he's living next to it, it, it on all of the left. It says if you tell somebody it's okay to drink a gallon of Jack Daniels a day. <laughs> Wake and bake, that's all you need to do. <laughs> so what he's saying is, in an essence, if you low break it come out of you and you teach that, mm -hmm. that's where it is. Because it says in Matthew 5, 17, those that keep the commandments should be called great. But those that do what? Teach. And how is teaching? Teaching has to come from teaching has to be displayed. Right, yeah. If they see you with a knife and a fork and cutting the backside of the floor, you have to try That's what defiles you because you are teaching law breaking. That's right. But every time you go to the fast food, if you don't, you have to quit eating fast food, you have to make sure. You would have to own everything you eat, grow it yourself, cultivate it yourself, process it yourself, to even come close to trying to prevent what comes in you. But you know what the problem with that is? You have to breed what's called air. And you can't find the fact that what's in the air? It's <laughs> <laughs> all in my brain. That's what you breed. So that will be purged out if the spirit is right in you. The most high will take care of the air you breathe. So you can fast and you can do that fast and don't eat and drink it. But fasting with no air? <laughs> <laughs> so y'all yeah, we can hold there. But that's what Christ was meaning by that. You gotta tell what we got here. Okay. And okay, we've talked it's not what goes in and what comes out. So the antithesis of that evilness that uh, Ariel just spoke about is Paul wrote in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. So don't just let bad oh, stuff come out. It. It's finally brother. That's right. Whatsoever, think of these things to, to cleanse the inside. Finally, brother. Philippians where you get it? Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Uh -huh. Finally, brother uh -huh. and sister, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, right. whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. Right. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Right. Meditate on these what things. What is that? 
It say, think on these things, right? The antithesis of, of the lasciviousness, the, all those other evil things. So the antidote, the antithesis, is that Paul 4 8. That's the all the same word. The antithesis. What that mean? <laughs> that means the opposite. Okay. <laughs> so, so meditate on those things and uh, re by the renewing of your mind, and it don't matter if you, you ate a little something, it will be digested spiritually by the Most High. So what he's saying in this deal, if you, somebody tell you that's okay to eat, you eat it, if it's against the law, if you have not had that in your system, it's coming out. But because they got in your system, don't make you defile it. It got in your family. The only way to make you defile is if you order it right off the top. They start teaching. So they start teaching. That's what he talks about. Give me that big mama pizza to go out with all of the meat you have back there. <laughs> but y'all have to understand when they put your chicken and hamburger pizza in that oven, what other meat in that when they cooking on the next pizza? You will have to cut all of that off. But the most I say, if you order what's on the clean list that we're going to get to, then I will take care of that rest of the I'll do that Mark 16 that I said to you. It'll be no harm to you. But you can't go in there and just say this. Order that like it ain't gonna be doing nothing. Go the Lord wash that away. And then you still have Isaiah 66. What will Christ say? You ask, do you believe in the second coming? Yes, I do. Well, Christ said he come back, read this. And those that eat peace. <laughs> Right. It's a stop right there. You hear the call because you're saying, wait a minute, he's talking about second coming destruction? Yep. That's right. It's <laughs> 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 what we're talking about. They go on mute. Or they will say, well, that ain't what my pastor said. Right. So we have to know what you're dealing with. Let's get it, y'all. Let's, let's move to this next script, y'all. Genesis chapter 7. Y'all, we're going to roll a little bit because we're behind on time. we got about 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Y'all, some more juice back there. I think it's some more chips on there in the tub over there. Y'all have y'all set up the big match. Y'all have a match. Y'all have a match. Y'all have a match. Go ahead. The male and his female. And his what? 
his female. Right. And of the beasts that are not cleaned by two. By what? By dose. So you see what we <laughs> in the country, there was two beasts, two male, two female beasts. Right. Two vultures, male, two female vultures. Right. Ravens and the whole sun, you do a knot that are considered unclean or bad fuel for the body. Mm -hmm. So it's not that two by two, you have to always have an ear to ear. Like we just read them say, if you have an ear to ear, let's hear it. Right. Let's turn this up like Dr. Way out. Let's get on dog level here. Yeah. This is what it's saying. You got to hear this. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Go ahead. The male and his female. Right. Notice it says his female, not somebody else. Right. <laughs> Verse 3. <laughs> of fowls also of the air by oh, seven. Fowls also of the air uh -huh. by seven. Right. The male and the female to keep the seed alive before the faith of all the earth. See, we can go right there. So he's telling even the fowl. See, the script don't tell us what birds we can eat. It tell us which ones we can. Right. That's right. No ravenous birds. Right. Any bird that would eat the flesh of anything, you cannot put it in your mouth. So that vulture stoop you was thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he. <laughs> so, and, what, and what do we say down here? You are what you eat. Absolutely. We can hold that, y'all. We're going to just establish this clean and unclean was before then. Wow. Let's get into Leviticus 11. Y'all, then we're going to get into some Leviticus 15 because there's cleansing and uncleansing for us as a people. We're going to kind of roll through this, y'all, because we're behind time a little bit. That proves the law in the earth. Right. God turned the law in the earth for Moses. God. That's, right. That's right. Because we're bringing, think about this. Why would you eat something unclean when you got it jumped up by the seven so you ain't going to run out? Right, right. So it's more clean for you to unclean. Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> That's why we say the unclean is a delicate But understand this. We eat the love so food. But they truly love the way it's cooked. But guess what? So food is not attributed to a nation of people, but a nation of slaves. So that's why we had to taste the clay. Big mama's, big mama's taste right here. Won't be no chilling on the crap. Not out there, not nowhere. It's a slave who presented as a nation of food for people to be digested on a level like that. They're not going to do it. They do it privately. They love the way you cook chicken for them. But it's gonna be under their guidelines and everything, but they'll go down to sweetie pie. But sweetie pies ain't got no boot out there. Hmm. Does she? No. Out there in the taste of, of every nation on earth that no. they set up in Chicago and out there in the walks. No. When you hit it with a little Italy, a little Germany, a little Chinatown, where's a little soul food town boot? No, that's only on the whole wind we never Let's get it. Let's get it, y'all. We're going right to Leviticus 11. We're going to start right here and what we can. We're just going to roll right through these right quick. And we're going to uh, just get the first, first, uh, first eight. Yeah. First eight. First eight. Yeah. Leviticus. Chapter 11, uh -huh. verse 1. Y'all understand this when the most high say this is food. You have to understand just like when you get your car manufactured, you say this is fuel. Not that leftover Jim Bean you had in the bottle. It'll start the car, but it's going to run rough. <laughs> you can eat a hog sandwich or a dog tail sandwich, but you're going to run rough. <laughs> Right. And chew it the cud oh, among the 
beast, that shall you eat. So, open footed and chew with the cud. Chew with the cud means it, it, it eats grass and don't eat meat. Right. And after it chews it into one stomach, it regurgitates it and chew it again. Until it grounds it to a fine mesh. That's chewing the cud. So it has to have a split hook. And it has to chew the cud. It has to be able to do those two things. A swine has a split hook, but he don't chew cud. He chew you. Glass, any of them, you can't even pause it. You have to cut their coat. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Y'all think about this now. So y'all really been thinking about some uh, some of that uh, oxtail stew or mm -hmm. neck beef neck bones in your stew? How about some? You want some real neck bones? How about some giraffe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then chew with the cud and split up. You want to have enough meat in that this time? <laughs> is it is it clean meat? <laughs> Let's keep moving, y'all. Something to think about. Let's get it. Verse 4. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nevertheless, these shall you not eat of them that chew the cud. Now we got you what you can't eat that chew the cud. Let's get it. Or of them that divide the hook. Uh huh. As the camel. As the what? The camel. Right. Because he cheweth the cud, but divided not the hook. He is unclean unto you. Right. And the cone. Right. Because he cheweth the cud, but divided not the hook. He is unclean unto you. That's the rat. Because it tastes like chicken. You can't eat the <laughs> rat. The cone. Hey. The jack rat. One of the super fast. So what's the heck? Fast than Bugs Bunny. The <laughs> cone. Go ahead. And the hair. And the hook. Now, this is the other. Uh, in that kind of different types of, of jack rat. Because he cheweth the cud, but divided not the hook. He is unclean unto you. Right. And the swine. And the what? The swine. The swine. Right. Though he divided the hook to be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. Now think about this. First thing we get, a black quarterback. What's that he's throwing like this? Pig skin. Yeah. Does it say he can't touch pig skin? Mm -hmm. Does it say he can't touch his heart? What is a heart? Yeah, body. Yeah, body. Body. Yeah, That's what he can't touch. But a pig skin, but that one, we'll get into the Ezekiel 16 where they were shod. Would y'all think we just got wearing gators? <laughs> you look at the Ezekiel 16, you see what kind of shoes they had on. Different thing, we just ain't started wearing dangerous now. Snakes and gators. Right. Big worm. What's the Ark of the Covenant covered with? That is on the list of don't touch, but it's caucus ain't nothing. We just got this protective skin that will withstand a rattlesnake bite. So we have to be clear on what we tell somebody, what the scripture is saying. It's saying you can't eat it, don't even come through their parts. Go ahead, brother. Uh, hold on, hold on. To touch is well, by the mouth and not then the fucking furniture. Well, hand. just if you see a dead wound, is this a pig and then you go to grab it? You can't even do that. If it's dead, it don't matter. Uh, like, like it's carcass. Like the dead body when we go look over Big Mama and you see somebody go kiss her on the forehead. Right. You're not supposed to do that. Pray for Big Mama. Don't kiss her. Verse 9. <laughs> Verse 9. These shall you eat of all that are in the water. See, now we get to what you can eat in the water. Go ahead. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the water. So y'all see the twofold, just like sin and law have to go together. There has to be just like it had to be two witnesses. It's always gonna be by two. Uh, as a matter of fact, most sharks have fins. They don't have no scales. Shark off the list. Shark. No shark fins. Let me ask you this. Uh, while we're here, hold it down, y'all. What about tuna fish? 
And it all depends on what it is. If it's made with salmon or mackerel, if it got, if it got scales and fins, you can eat it. Right. If it don't, got to throw that can away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have to check and see what okay. is that tuna made out of. You can have catfish tuna. And my, bottom line, yeah. just tell me about checking out the sea, D. Right. Yeah, so, so that's the deal, y'all. Y'all look at that. If mackerel does not have scales and fish, y'all, this is the measure. Stick to just go. All you have to do is Google whatever it says that's in that can. If it says it has scales and fins, it's good to eat. Right. What you got back there, bro? Got a second witness to that. Uh, <laughs> Leviticus chapter twenty, verse twenty-five. Ye, uh -huh. it says, ye shall therefore put difference between clean beasts. And unclean, and between unclean files and clean. What is that? Uh, Leviticus 20 and 25. See y'all, so now what he just read, he just read this trifecta is the law of the diet. Backing it up, and Christ went with the same law, never jumped off of it, because he mentions it at his second coming in Isaiah 66. So if anybody's saying he's done away with it, just ask them if they believe in the second coming of Christ. If they say yes, Go to the prophecy of the second coming of Christ in Isaiah 66. It's going to be an hour. Hmm. And they'll go on mute. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Let's get it. Hold on. He won't finish, finish uh, it. Go ahead. I'll finish it out. Uh -huh. uh, and ye shall not make your soul abound by beasts or by fowls or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground uh -huh. which I have separated from you as unclean. Right. So y'all right there we see again, but that's what defiles a man. If you slip up, you don't know what nobody could for it is tell you I did that. I cleaned it up. You I mean do you say do you go in every store and ask, who put this together? No, you, you if it say me, check it out, make sure everybody pass out literature here. That be good living to pass out. These are the type of things. It's not in a court case. These are certain things. It's not made by that way. And we share that information so we stay as clean and practice here as we can. Mm -hmm. But when you don't own nothing, you have mercy, so to speak. But when, when people understand what you're doing and how you're doing it, the most I say, I will make sure those nations show compassion. Let's get what we have. Verse 10. Uh-huh. And all that have not fins and scales in the sea and in the river, of all that move in the water, and of any living thing which is in the water, they shall be an abomination unto you. See, an abomination is a felon. That's the difference in these scriptures. You got mystery. You got something that can happen to you that you have to go before the tree is clean to the or whatever it is. You got That's right. Mm -hmm. Murder. Adultery. Sodomy. Sodomy. Felonies. It ain't never going nowhere. Christ ain't never done away with that behavior. Right. If you're saying the Lord done away with it, then how you going to point the finger at somebody that's doing that? <laughs> What you got back there, And you see from that verse, brother, just read, you make your soul abominable by partaking with those beasts. What those do you make abominable? Your soul. What's in the inside? For you are what ye eat. So, y'all, we gonna hold that, but then we don't down there too uh, uh we got two more verses. Go ahead. Verse 11. Uh-huh. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Right. Ye shall not eat of their flesh. Right. But ye shall have their carcasses an abomination. Uh -huh. Whatsoever hath no fins nor scales in the water, that shall be an abomination unto you. So when it gets it now into the file, it tells you about the ego and the offspring and different things like that. So it gets into those things that tell you what you can't eat. So and so the Bible is clear, y'all. It ain't no private interpretation, it's laying it on the line. So if you like them scraps. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Hey, look, in First Tim four, then he said, "Whatever you pray on, he said, I made everything." He said, "For those who know the truth, we are reading the truth about this in the law." That's right. Now, if there's a law in the New Testament, 
that says what you can eat, then we need to be shown. But so far, this is the only truth about meat in the Bible, and it's referred to. Even Peter in Acts 10, he said he pondered and thought on the beach and told the Lord, not so, Lord, but nothing unclean has ever entered my mouth. So that was the time of walking with the Christ, and this was after ain't nothing still entered his mouth. But when you get to verse 28 of Acts 10, you will understand it first. When Christ made everything, he made everything good. The swine to take care of, it was our trash compactor. Right. And he showed it to you in everything. What's under the sink on the fence dog? What's the trash compactor? So it's in every facet for you to understand it so it's without excuse. So y'all, it's plain as day, and when you have a fish tank, which one? You got your beautiful tropical fish you paid thirty dollars for cleaning the side of the tank. What you gonna get for that? What kind of eaters? What they get like? Catfish. All they know is that's what's good about them because they clean up everything so that your tilapia, your buffalo, your jack salmon is good to eat because they're taking care of the dirty work. You got a question? You got a question? Go ahead, brother. Since we're on the topic of food, can you uh, can you go over briefly that it's okay to eat? A cheeseburger, cheese and meat. Well, and this is again what he's speaking of is the commandments of men, the balance rule teaching. They say because the script says you should not sod mm -hmm. a kid in his mother's milk. Mm -hmm. So see, see the kid in his mother's milk. I'm sorry. See the kid meaning ball and meat and, and together. So they think that what makes cheese, if you eat a cheeseburger that's that's milk and meat going together. But when you break down the script and understand what a kid and his mother's milk means, it simply is Christ said, everything you eat must be at least one years old. That's right. veal. Right. Veal is six month old calf that the legs have been tied down so the muscles can't get strong. And they call it the most tender meat on earth. A tender. <laughs> a tender. <laughs> So that's what they are, that's what veal is. So you, it's six month old cat. Okay. That's what a kid, a six month old cat is still nursing. You can't take that from his nursing. The calf after a year old push, I mean the mother pushes it away. You can't have no more milk. You got to go eat the same way when you breastfeed. If you got a, a third grade in your lap, <laughs> breastfeeding at the doctor's office, it's a problem. <laughs> hey, he needs me to be on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, we want to be careful, y'all. <laughs> What I said, uh, do not see the kid in his mother's milk. Now we're talking about, we'll get that, let me, let me search it out here. Did, did Abraham meet the Lord? And, and they see it in the other thing, when Abraham met the Lord before they went to, what's that, about 12 or, or, or 15? Genesis 18. 18, Genesis 18 chapter when Christ met the Lord and Christ sent the two angels along to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Him and Abraham was wrapped. Abraham, when he got to me, he told us, this servant, go fetch a cab. Let's get some cheese and bread down here. And they, they dine together. Cheese and bread. This is a balance of law that they saying that it, you thought it was about ball of meat and milk together. Well, your hamburger happened, is that? That was your faith that you can't do it no more if you believe that. Because you pour a little milk in there with that. Now, that ain't you what the hamburger helper is meal, you got some meal there. Hey, I write this down about the seed, the key, and his mother's milk. What is that? Exodus 23 and 19. Uh -huh. And Deuteronomy 14 and 21. We got Deuteronomy here. All of it was already right there. So that's another one of understanding the seed and the key. You are not to do anything like that. This is the same way they see the key and his mother's milk. Do you know that all of that teaching in Catholicism and all of the Jewish tradition in the Hebrew and the Bible? They must get a child that has not reached his ability to emit. Hey, what did they do around this? 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. 14. 
Deuteronomy 14 is exactly like uh, the man who left. So in that sense, it's explaining what type of meat you can eat because y'all have to understand what they make delicate tests is way off the limit in here.